That's a pretty nice sized pile of chips. And it all came from one tree and there it is right there. Let's go take a look. Large beach. No question about it. You can see this tree had major issues. It was so rotted, we ripped like 12 or 15 feet and chipped it this first 12 or 15 feet. There's one of the pieces we ripped from yesterday. This is a dangerous tree. Mr. Ward, Mr. Leroy, advanced decay. Wow. All this wood here, all punky. Have a little bit of good fibers here. This was a little squirrely. This, these fibers in the in the, the grain on these was a little squirrely, not too trustworthy. And then this is punky here. There's obviously nothing here. This is all punky. We're just a little bit on the far side. The tree was leaning that way. It had a pretty significant side lean and back lean. And uh, as heavy as it was, the only way we could possibly trust it to go over to the lay with a very untrustworthy hinge wood was with having pull from a skid steer loader. We had to have a machine pulling on that. I just would no way you would trust that. I want to talk today about the use of skid steer loaders in modern arboriculture. And there's a lot of people that frown upon that, think that shouldn't be done for some reason. They like to go out there and break their back and run up their chiropractic bills, loading heavy wood and dragging brush and such. I just want to point out a safety issue here. You see, we clearly had an extremely decayed American beach here. This tree was like 110 feet tall. We took it down to about 45 feet. Had a significant back lean, side lean. Now what did he want me to do with this tree? There's no way I could trust the hinge in this, in this tree to really control the tree. The only way I could control this tree was by having enough pull on the pull line, enough force on the pull line to counterbalance the lean of the tree. So that's exactly what we did and the machine we used for that was this skid steer loader. Going out there and trying to set up pulleys and blocks and you know what are you going to set up 40 to 1 125 to 1 to get en enough pull with one or two guys as you can get with a skid steer loader as opposed to just clear communication between the follower and the skid loader operator no question in my mind that is a tool when used properly it makes the job much safer now if it's used improperly just like a chainsaw if it's used improperly it makes this all the the, the the job much more dangerous. We're certainly not going to go back to using cross cut saws. With a skid steer loader and a good cut, I was able to direct the fall of this tree perfectly onto these padding logs. Tree never hit the ground, so now when we slice and dice, it's going to make it much easier. Altogether, it's just a much easier thing. And you know, the skid loader is going to be taking all this wood out to the street for pickup by the log loader. So here it is. This particular one has turf tracks, which are a little easy on the lawn. You don't have to do a lot of uh, raking and seeding and that sort of thing. Generally, the lawn's in pretty good, lawn's in pretty good shape. So it has limited capacity in certain situations. You can't use it for any type of excavating, uh, stone work. You can't really push much dirt with it. It's really for going up, picking heavy stuff up out of the backyard and taking it out to the street. That's what it does, it does it very well. That's just a lot of wood, big tree. So with no skid steer loader, this tree would have been 10 times as hard. Just gotta have a skid loader on certain jobs here. I mean, it's just, it's like, you know, Stone Age is trying to do tree work without one. Thanks for watching, Danny Murphy. Have, have a great day.